some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video... Oh boy, this is a good one we're going to have today. Yeah, I found it in my recommendation section. I was going to glance over it, but this was just too good to ignore. In this video, we are taken to Arizona, where a cop educates a frauditor in the law. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. 71, passing all these cars. Get a good look. That guy right there. See your driver's license, please. Yes, sir. Can I ask what you pulled over for? Absolutely. As soon as you see your driver's license, I will be very happy to tell you. That's not how it works. If, can you tell, first of all, what's your name and your badge number? I'm sorry. I do this for a living. You don't. I tell you how this works. Let me see your driver's license, or I'm going to pull you out of your car and arrest you for failing to provide ID. This is a legal request. I don't want to hear any other words out of your mouth except here's my driver's license. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a true cop hater here. That's not a good way to start off a conversation with a law enforcement officer. But you gotta love the way the officer took control of the situation. You don't come onto my workspace and tell me how to do my job when you know nothing about it. Absolutely. I need your driver's license so I know who you are. I am not asking you. I am telling you. Give me your driver's license. My name is... I don't want your name. I want a physical ID as required by Arizona law. I am asking you when I'm getting pulled over. I will tell you as soon as I see your driver's license. Okay. I will gladly give you my license. I get some identification of the reason why I'm getting pulled over. That's usually all right. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is you're traveling 71 miles an hour in a posted 45 mile per hour zone. 26 miles above the speed limit. Here in Florida, that's nothing more than a misdemeanor. But in other states, it'd be a felony. And you'd be subject to all sorts of consequences, including your having your car towed and license taken away. We also see registration and current proof insurance, please. Can I do some more that's, Unless it's going to magically appear in your hands, you would have to, right? All of your information still current, still living on Mesa? I don't answer any questions. Okay. And I had to get on my phone. You're the one who decided that it needed to be recording, so you could also use it to provide current proof insurance. I don't answer questions. Well, how the hell did you make it through school, buddy? Oh, let me guess, since you didn't want to answer any questions, you dropped out of school and became a high school dropout. And since you can't answer any questions, I'm sure you can't get a job either. I wonder who paid for that car. Did your parents pay for it? Oh, that's right. You don't answer questions. Who wants me to update? Are you required to provide it in a amount of time that would be... Right, it's coming up right now. Okay. A few minutes later. All right, well, you keep working on that. There's no reason to be confrontational like that. There was no part of my contact with him was confrontational. Super simple and cordial, and he just, for some reason, just can't seem to understand that there's a sequence of events that transpires here in Pinal County. And if he doesn't like that, maybe he needs to move back to Mesa. <laughs> As soon as he recorded me and I asked him, hey, I need your driver's license, he's like, I'd be happy to give it to you. But before that, when he wasn't recording me, he absolutely wouldn't. So it's, uh, that's why you just, you can't believe everything that you see online is because there was that whole entire contact that happened and he starts to record and all of a sudden he's just the nicest guy and I'm this big mean guy that's just demanding stuff. I would imagine he will interpret the fact that he's getting a ticket as a result of his terrible attitude when really it's just the fact that he is just violating Arizona motor vehicle law. So in case you're wondering what 71 miles an hour at 1065 feet looks like on a laser, that's what it is. And that was his speed. So after I locked him in on this, I watched him drive past me, never lost sight of him, pulled in right behind him. So 
I'm sure this is the type of guy that wants to find some sort of, I don't know, but something to fight. Yeah, he's got to fight something for his audience. He's got to find some big, bad boogeyman that violates his rights. Right, kind sir. I have a contact phone number for you with an area code first, please? Sure, absolutely. Okay. Well, all the in supervisor. Hold on, no. No, you can contact one by phone. But if I'm requesting a supervisor, you deny it? You can, I can give you the contact phone number yeah. for the sheriff's office. Absolutely. It's area code 520-866-5912. Yep. Do you normally, just a couple questions for you. Do you normally threaten to put people out of the car just for them asking why they got pulled over? 100% yeah. when they refuse to provide identification like a, you did. But isn't that a secondary offense? Arizona's not a stop and ID state. Um, like, I asked you why I was being pulled that's over, correct. and you didn't want to tell me until I use it as a predecessor. That's you correct, because I need to know who I'm talking to first. Well, hold on a second. Go ahead. Her civil rights and laws. Oh, okay. And okay. unless I am being arrested, or unless I'm being Well, a, failing, to provide, you, failing you, to provide you, evidence of identity is a criminal offense. No, it's a secondary offense. It doesn't matter. It is, it's it an offense. Matter. It doesn't. Officer Stroop, if, if, you want, if you will let me speak, and then I'll let you speak, is that all right? No. You don't want to let me speak? No. Okay. No, I'm not here for a back and forth. Uh, well, this isn't it's I talk and you talk. You can't, you it, can't. it is, absolutely Normally, it is. per the civil rights, per... Fourth this has the, nothing to do with civil rights. Per, At its very roots, civil rights are about equal treatment under the law, no matter your religion, sex, race, creed, or whatever. This is not a violation, you moron. The Fourth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, which you hold an oath to uphold, you can... I know, it's very, very disappointing because I like to follow the rules, too. Obviously, I don't, I don't have to break myself. However... Well, you like to follow rules except for speed limits I, I, that you I don't like to follow. It's, it's objective or subjective. That's the, that's the cursor, okay? So, if... if so we're gonna. If we want to play word games, we can play word games here. We can. We can play word games as long as you want. Absolutely. That's per the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, to be secure in my own rights to hold my identity, unless, especially in a state that's not a stop and ID state, aren't you supposed to tell me why you're pulling me over? Absolutely. I, I have no. There is absolutely no requirement for me to tell you. I told you as a common courtesy because it's what I normally do during traffic stops. Oh my goodness! This guy is all over the board with. Every lame ass frauded our argument under the sun. I'm surprised he doesn't come out with Chile De Castro's lame ass argument about uh, Terry versus Ohio. You know, but it's what you normally do. That's not what the law says. You do. It is not a law. It is. It's not a stop and ID. It is. It's not a law. Okay. Uh, we have, so we, have a difference we can I'll we take, can I'll agree to. Uh, you are certainly going to get one. So. All the information up at the top is yours. Vehicle's information's here. It says today at 10.05, you're 71 and a posted 45. Now, RMP stands for reasonable and prudent, and that's what the speed limit is, and you're 71 miles an hour and a posted 45. Got you on laser, the most accurate of all speed detection devices. Do you have a um, I'm sorry? Do you have a printout or a screenshot? No. I have a screenshot, yes. Can I have that? You cannot. Okay. Um, because I have no way to print it out in my car. Learning all those frauded arguments sure as hell didn't get you out of a speeding ticket. That's for damn sure. Well, better luck next time, or maybe you should stop speeding. So, uh, the direction you're facing right now is eastbound in the number one lane. State Route 24 at Meridian was the closest intersection. Your citation is for speaker than the reasonable and prudent. You're cited into the Santan Justice Court, which is located up in Chandler. You have a court date only if you wish to appear on the first day of November at nine o'clock in the morning. If not, you can phone number right here leads you to the court. Knowledgeable court staff there will be able to answer any questions you have, including giving you any sort of information on traffic score. This right here is the driver's license, the registration to which you provided, and an exact carbon copy of the citation. All right, any further questions I can answer for you today, sir? All right, and uh, just say, so you know, my uh, sergeant is Sergeant Erickson. He's the person that you're going to, thanks for putting your window up. They said you didn't want to talk to me. Anymore. All that time watching YouTube law experts, and what did it get you? It got you a traffic ticket. You know, here's a wonderful idea. Since you like these frauditors so much, maybe you should go find Chile de Castro and have him represent you in court. But then again, he may make it worse for you.